Hey Trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. With that said, it's the women's 100 meters. I'm so excited for this. Yes, the start lists are out. And of course, we are going to react to it right away. So without further ado, of course, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you all can see what I'm seeing. I haven't seen the list yet. You know what I mean? I kind of just opened the window and kept my eyes down <laughs> so that I would see, you know, what's on the first heat or who is in the first heat. So here we go. So I'm hoping everybody is able to see my screen and right off the bat we have heat one there's no jamaican here because clearly you know the jamaican flag just pops out at me but in heat one i see daryl nita right off the bat i see julian alfred as well i see gina bass now those are the athletes that you know for me personally will figure in this race let me look at the qualifications so they state the first three and then the next three fastest times so top three you know qualify out of this now in my opinion i have julian taking this and of course Daryl Nita finishing second and then I'm possibly going to say Gina Bass will take the other spot in this heat anyway Chucky so we're gonna move on from heat one into heat two okay still no Jamaican all right so let's take a look who is there we have Brittany Brown from America we have Dina Asher Smith also here let me see if there are any other names that really stick out to me no there are no other names that really stick out to me so who do I have taken this race I'm going to give it to Dina Asher Smith and Brittany Brown in second and it's a toss-up as far as i'm concerned you know for a third place anybody who wants to run into that slot certainly can all right moving on to heat three all right no jamaican <laughs> where are the jamaicans jamaica jamaica where are you okay all right heat three we have Mari Jose Talu. She comes up here. Tamari Davis comes up here. She pops out at me. Iwa Swoboda also pops out at me in this heat three. Who takes this race? Clearly, um, I have Tamari Davis, I believe, will take this race. Then I'm going to possibly go with uh, Iwa Swoboda. She's been looking good. She ran a, a massive personal best as well. So she's been looking good. And Mira Lahori, I, I possibly also have taken a spot but this is going to be a close one because we do have leah Bert bertrand from trinidad that's also running well so it's going to be a toss-up for that third spot but i believe tamari davis and iwa swoboda iwa swoboda you know will go ahead and, and qualify out of this race out of this um round let me know though your thoughts on this heat now moving on to the fourth heat okay finally at jamaican we have sherika jackson okay so let's see who she she, you know lines up with now we have victoria rosa she's always been in it for brazil for a while now let's go oh rosemary chokwuma she's here oh gina lucan kemper oh what's she saying here michelle lee Ayi. she was still running i had no idea um and of course sharika jackson all right you know off the bat sharika is taking this i'm not even going to press my brain too much let me think i think probably rosemary chokwuma and of course gina lucan kemper you know come in second and third okay yeah the times are pretty close when i look at their season best you know they will be you know challenging each other for a second and third that's gina luke and kemper and rosemary chukuma so those are the two that i have making it through along with sherika jackson out of this heat but they don't know sherika got cruise this it's a walk in the park for her all right so let's move on we still not see shakira yet i you know so let's see all right oops shakira speak of the devil <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all Americans are going to get mad when I say that, but yes, yeah, speak of her, she arrives. All right. So, and of course, there's also a Jamaican here with her. And let me see if there are any other names that pop out. We have Ilmani Lansikot also in this one. Um... Okay, those are the athletes that pop out at me. So right off the bat, you know, this is an easy win for Shakira Richards, in my opinion. Again, round management will be a big thing for her. I'm, I'm curious to see what she does in this first round. And of course, I have Natasha Morrison following behind her. And now Imani Lonsicott, in my opinion, can also, you know, qualify from this round into the next round. So those are my top three there. But this is pretty much going to be a walk in the park for Shakiri. Natasha, on the other hand, says she, you know, she's coming with something because she wants an individual medal. So maybe I'm going to be surprised as well, you know, with a performance from her. You can never really tell. But again, Shakiri, hands down, next in is Natasha Morrison and possibly Imani Lonsicott. All right, so fourth, 
I mean, sorry, the sixth heat. Um, another Jamaican pops up here, finally. Um, up, then again, we have four Jamaicans, so they, they need to be popping up, right? So we have Sasha Lee Forbes lining up here. She pops out at me right away. Then we have Mur uh, Marie Jose Talou. She pops out right here as well. So who do I go with? Is there anybody else that pops out at me? No. So I'm just going to go off times for the other slot. So um, hands down, Marie Jose Talou is taking this in my opinion and of course Ashley Forbes comes in second let me see the times we have this Patricia van der Weeken um she seems as though she could possibly get in based on season's best so let's see plus you know there's a Hungary athlete Boglar Boglarka Takax child listen if i chop that up i do apologize it's nothing personal right you know she could you know feed off the hungarian crowd and, and do something you know special here let's see what happens for her but you know what um the big two in this race and the big two in my opinion is marie jose talu and Sasha Lee forbes they will not be troubled again the, the, the question as it relates to marie jose talu as well is around management let's see if she's changed from you know the, the talu that's gonna come blaze a 10 you know seven in the first round all right so the final heat <laughs> the defending champion the five time you know world champion shelly and fraser price lines up in this one who does she have for company it appears no one let's see okay so she has zoe hop she pops out at me mojinga kambunji pops out at me but the issue is that mojinga kambunji is coming off an injury so i'm not sure what to expect from her all right i'm just gonna go off you know times for this one clearly you know shelly and fraser price is taking this hands down easy jog for her let me see the times here okay we have zoe hobbs running 10.96 and we have mojinga kambunji that has run 11.05 so far okay so it Kambunji is coming back. All right. So I definitely have um, Zoe Hobbs and Mujinga, you know, following through um, with Shelly and Fraser Price. Possibly Mujinga could also, you know, defeat Zoe Hobbs. It seems she's coming, you know, back right on time. So track is there you have it. As far as I'm concerned, all top contenders will qualify easily into the next round. I do not expect them to be challenged at all all so yes no problem no fuss at this point in the first round at all i do expect though to see you know a few athletes try to you know scare the rest of the pack and put down a fast time so i am looking out for it so let's see what happens in in the in the race personally though i do believe round management will be clutch when it comes to who actually medals so these athletes will have to be careful but guess what it's the heat at the moment some of them are going to bust well like big beige kites so let's see what happens in the race but of course I'm very excited can't wait to see it now this race comes up tomorrow morning track is so look out for that race now like the video and of course subscribe i'll catch you in the next one bye